welcome to American Beer TV. Today we've got a really special beer. We've got the Brewery Cigar City Collaboration Beer. You want to say it? Collaboration. Marron Acidifié. Right, there we go. We worked on that. Um, Thank God for yeah. Google. Yeah, serious. <laughs> Google Foo is strong. Basically, that basically means Marron brown. is brown, right? And or dark brown. Acidifié yeah. is, is our uh, acid. Acid, acid like or the acid So it's going to be. A brown tart. It's actually a pa past participle of some of to make something acid. I don't I care. Don't well, care. No, I just want to show that I know this <laughs> shit. Damn it. We're really smart. <laughs> no, I didn't know it. I Google. I looked it up. I looked it up first, so you don't have to. We'd I mean, all be digging trenches if it wasn't for Google. That's right. So <laughs> this is also. Um, the Oud Brun mm -hmm. style would exactly. be the Belgian brown ale. Right. So that would be like a Flanders style. Mm -hmm. So that style in itself is a little tart and a little, a little bit. Right. Right. Uh, close to this example, a commercial example would be Leafman's Brewing Company out of Belgium. Yeah. So they have the traditional Oud Brun, which is uh, yeah, let's some pretty good stuff, but. This one's also been aged in oak barrels. Now they don't say necessarily what kind of oak barrels, but I believe you have an opinion on that. Go ahead. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we taste it. We'll, no. we'll get into that. So. Okay. I had the luxury of tasting this beer because I picked up this bottle at the brewery in Placentia. I wasn't able to go. Great team there. They were really friendly, and mm -hmm. uh, they have, of course, poor beer. So yeah, it's an amazing Brewery's place. Awesome. You can smell right. that from here. Wow. So not a huge head. No, no, no. Big, big, big aroma. Big bubbles yeah. on that one that's dissipating real quick. Um, it's an unfiltered beer. It is definitely brown, uh, not black. Um, Ooh. Okay. Wow. wow. So, barrels. I definitely. would say, just off the nose alone, I would say they're putting it in red wine barrels. Because yeah. they're not saying it. I mean, unless they're just putting it in raw oak barrels, I mean, which they have every right to do that. But for some mm -hmm. reason, I'm getting a little bit of that red wine. Yeah, yeah. Head well, from you, the nose. You swirl it up, you start to get a little bit of a head mm -hmm. on there. Yeah, mine's pretty. And the head has oh, a kind of a red, reddish tinge to it. Mm -hmm. A little tiny bit. Uh, definitely. Oh man. Deep brown. Wonderful aroma on this beer. Fantastic. Wonderful aroma. Um, wow. Yeah. We need Where to begin? It's definitely. It's definitely sour. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't know if the sourness of a Nude Brun, you know, because those kind of beers were traditionally aged in uh, bourbon barrels anyway, so I don't know if the sourness is going to come. I know red wine barrels impart some sourness, mm -hmm. but I don't know if that's the only thing if they used. Um, sounds to me like they would still use some kind of, like, you know, you know, wild yeast or, or citric yeah, acid or uh, something. To, yeah, there could, it could possibly. It's if the brewery wants to comment back on this video, you're more than welcome to comment. Yeah, it's got some definite set of funk straight. to it. You do pick up some of that wood yeah, characteristic. Yeah, you do. And you get, you get a really interesting, you know, the sour quality. You're also getting some malt characteristics on there. Some of the sweet malt. Man, that nose is just... Um, I'm getting that vinegar. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some vinegar in there. It's like that. You're getting I some... I think it says on the bottle some something fruit. about aged balsamic or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're getting but some fruit getting flavor, like some some uh, cherry kind uh -huh. of. Wow. Wow, let's taste it. the aroma. Let's get it a taste. And cheers. Wow, that is tart. That is definitely a tart, tart beer. Mm. Now that I'm tasting it, I'm thinking there would have to be some level of bread. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of like, It's It just puckers. crashes your palate. Yeah. It just like stomps on it. The cherries really come through. Yeah. Ooh. But I still, I still stick to my guns. I still want to say that. They didn't say anything about cherries. No. Dark sour. Yeah, but cherry it flavor. It says, yeah. uh, what, what did it say right here? Um. With aromas of cranberries, okay. tropical yeah. fruits, leather, aged balsamic. So, yeah. yeah, but I, I don't think they actually used any cranberry. Any no, I don't think there's. I don't think there's cherries in this. I think that that's coming oh, yeah. across. 
I yeah. love cranberries, and, yeah. I, and I love like the cherry pie, or yeah. I love cranberry juice. I love that tart stuff. Yeah. So this is great beer for me. Yeah. This this is definitely. I've had some some beers from the breweries, and they they've done some a lot of uh, pretty good sours. Um, but I would say that those are beginning to intermediate sours. As you, if you've watched our show, we've we've done a couple shows, and we've talked about when you're dealing with sours, you have you know, like beginning, intermediate, and advanced levels of sourness to, to, to kind of acclimate people to. This is definitely an advanced sour. This is yeah. an ass kicker of a, not of a sour. Not everybody's going to like this beer. No. Because you really have to be, not only do you have to, I mean, if you're, if, if you're on the borderline of sours, like let's say you're kind of like, eh, sours are okay, you can give them taste, even if... You're one of the, the people that are into sours. Yeah, and then, you're kind of okay with it. Like that, this those, is going to be too sour. Yeah, and then but there's like those fruity lambics, which have the fruit yeah. added to it. And those have a little level of tartness, but they, they're kind of overpowered this by is, that fruity sweetness. This is a dry, uh, you know, not a sweet, but yeah, a dry, it's dry sour it, patch. It just, it, yeah, it, it just, it, like, sucker punches your yeah. palate. It just, like, takes away all the, the moisture of your palate. Now, don't get us wrong. We, we, we put I, I think we kind of put a lot of disclaimers on on sour beers. This is a fantastic beer. Um, it is definitely very unique. Um, how do you think this would age? I was thinking the same thing. We will get back to you in about a year. Yeah, we're, we're, I got an extra bottle of this. We're gonna put it in the cellar and we're gonna see what happens to it in about a year. Yeah, we'll keep it in a cool, dark place. I wonder untouched. if with sours. I wonder if the sour flavor is going to get more pronounced or yeah, I or think mellow the, out. I think the sourness d d does stick around. Yeah, and this is also um, bottle fermented, so you do have yeast here in the bottle. Um, you can see the yeast. Serious. It's suspended right here. I think this is a really young beer. They just released this yeah. beer. I picked it up last week. So, um, yeah, if you were to put this in the fridge for a couple weeks... The, the yeast is going to fall out. It will right. lager inside your refrigerator and it will have a, you know, a yeast cake will form at the bottom. Which would kind of be something, would be interesting to try is to leave it in your fridge for a couple weeks before even trying the beer. Yeah. And get rid of the yeast and just have the, the, the fullness of the malt and all that stuff. So. Yeah, but very, very unique beer. Um, pretty much, flavor profile, pretty much sour. I mean, that's that's... I think it's, it's it's a sour brown. I think yeah. the the Are you if getting, you've ever had Leafman's or if you haven't, go out and try it. You do pick up a little bit of that kind of classic Leafman's uh, style of brewing in this beer, but it complexity wise, mm -hmm. there's just a whole another level of complexity yeah. to this beer. I think most of the Ode brooms that I've tried have been kind of a multi beer with a bit of sour qualities too. A beer, kind of, kind of like, kind of like a uh, sour Belgian Scotch ale. Okay. You know, think about yeah, it like that. that sense. Uh -huh. You know, if you took a, a Scotch ale, the basic grain bill of a Scotch ale, and whatever, and like a traditional one, not like a really hoppy, weird one, um, and brewed it with like bretomyces and put it in a barrel and did stuff. That's kind of where I, I, I feel Udrun sets in. Mm -hmm. But this one just. Re, as the name suggests, brown acidifier, mm -hmm. you know, it basically just really pushes the tartness and the sour level way up, yeah. you know, compared to other ones. But yeah, definitely good stuff. Well, all right, man. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Get out there and drink craft beer. Yay. Yeah.